Hi guys, welcome to the Midweek Snack here at the Emma Gardner channel. My name is Cindy and today we're going to be preparing a gluten-free pizza. Now, it's been one of the popular requests from the viewers, so this video and recipe is dedicated to those of you who've requested it. So, thank you so much and I tried it out with my family during dinner time and they totally loved it. So, unfortunately there's not going to be a taste test at the end of the video because I recorded around dinner time so it was really hard to get like a proper taste test with the lighting so I super apologize for that but I know that they loved it so hopefully your family will too and this recipe is not only gluten free but it's also dairy free but it's super versatile you guys can adjust the topping to your preferences so stay tuned and um, thank you again for all the comments and love you guys give to our channel we appreciate it nonetheless and follow up in our social media streams, share your pictures of the recipes you guys are doing. We would love to see them. So until next time, bye. All right guys, so first let's gather the ingredients. You're gonna need two cups of white rice flour, one teaspoon of sugar, one and a half cups of cornstarch or tapioca starch, also one and a half teaspoons of sugar, three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of flaxseed meal, one packet of the active dry yeast, and one and a half teaspoons of the xanthan gum, along with two cups of warm water. So now we're going to stir the yeast, the flaxseed meal, and sugar into the two cups of the warm water. And we're gonna let it stand for about 10 minutes just to make sure it starts to get a little bit cloudy. In the meantime, we're just going to whisk together all of the remaining dry ingredients. You guys can actually substitute it for brown rice flour or half it by one cup brown rice to one cup white rice flour. Totally interchangeable. Now once our yeast concoction is done, we're going to bind it together, just whisk it around and then we're going to slowly add the olive oil and start kneading the dough. Once we have kneaded the dough, it's going to look like this. All you have to do is set it aside for 15 minutes. After that, it'll be ready to get extended out. I'm using a soapstone here. Although I super recommend that you guys just use a normal pizza pan. It was just a little bit difficult to have it evenly cooked. So definitely just stick to the traditional method. In the meantime, go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Now after that, we're just going to go ahead and top up our pizza I'm using some super simple ingredients such as marinara sauce, some herb blend, some fresh vegetables, roasted red peppers, and we're just going to dress it up with some basil as well. And after that, we're going to put it in the oven. It'll go in for about 15, 20 minutes top. It really depends on what kind of pan you are using as well. And voila, this is what your pizza should look like after coming out of the oven. If you guys are ready for some gluten-free za, give this video a like. Thanks so much for watching guys, until next time.